Today, we're going to try to make a track like Internet Money. Internet Money Records was founded by Danny Snodgrass Jr., better known by the name Taz Taylor, an American record producer from Jacksonville, Florida. Taz dropped out of school in grade seven, and his mom was diagnosed with cancer when he was 17. As Taz started exploring new ways to make money, he began doing graphic design, but quickly switched lanes and started producing beats in FL Studio and selling them online. Today, Internet Money's producer roster consists of 24 different producers, the most prolific of which is Nick Mira, whose ambient melodic production style is at least somewhat responsible for the success of major artists like Juice World. Nick pretty much produced all of Juice World's breakout hits, such as the six times platinum Lucid Dreams and the double platinum All Girls Are The Same. He's also worked with artists such as Lil Skies, Lil Tecca, Post Malone, NBA Youngboy, and more. Nick Mira is, in my opinion, a young goat. Let's get into the cookup. I opened up the LA Custom Grand Piano in Keyscape, and I'm just going to lay down a repetitive melody. Here's what it sounds like. Here's a trick to make your melodies sound a little less repetitive. Lay down a different bass note every so often. It'll give the melody a greater sense of movement. Now we're going to spice it up further by adding some higher octave notes. This is optional. You don't have to do this, but I like to do it for the sense of variation. Next I added some EQ to cut the lows, and I also added some reverb to make the piano feel more spacious. Here's what the melody sounds like now. I opened up this custom preset from my Omnisphere bank, and I just copy and pasted our melody. I'm going to use this as a layer. I also cut the lows on this. I opened up this preset in Omnisphere, and I made this counter melody. I laid down an open hat. I made this hat pattern. I added a clap. I laid down a perk. I added another open hat. I added another perk. And yet another perk. I made this kick pattern. I laid down an 808. Here's what the drums sound like all together. All right, now it's time to write some lyrics. The best way to approach this is to not write any lyrics. Let me explain. Pick a topic. In my case, I'm going to go with some sad, broken-hearted love stuff. Once you have a topic, just freestyle over the beat, keeping the topic in mind. You don't have to do it all in one take. 
For me, I'm just going to do a few lines at a time and delete them if they don't make any sense or just sound bad. You don't have to be clever here. These tracks are more about capturing a vibe than impressing nerds with your wordplay. Note that I'm not trying to emulate any specific artist here. I'm just trying to make something as generic as possible. All right, let's make some quick album art for the single. I'm going to Google some broken heart images. Load it up in Photoshop, do some editing, get some VHS overlays to help it go along with the whole sad boy aesthetic we're going for here. All right, here's what I made. Good enough for me. I do plan on making another vocal mixing tutorial soon, probably once I get into my new place, because I feel like I know enough now to make a better video than the one I currently point people to on my channel, but I'm not going to get into that now. On this one I just did what I normally do, but I used some autotune as well. With all of that out of the way, let's see what we've come up with. That bitch done broke my heart I seen it from the start I tried to call your bluff But you done pulled my card I need a room to breathe She don't give a fuck about me I drink myself to sleep Feel like I'm in too deep I got nowhere that I could run to Don't know why I would ever trust you She pulled me down another level I swear to God this bitch the devil Took my heart and she broke it to pieces You ain't no bitch, you a motherfucking demon Yeah, he's right, I'm exact 